Ladies and gentlemen, Snowden on Ice, an original television musical. Starring a Katerina Gordieva as Kate. With Kurt Browning as Grandpa Albert and as Brett. Jose Schwinard as Shauna. Introducing Daria Grinkova as Lizzie. And special guest Scott Hamilton as Scooch. something he's not the role that he's playing is theirs for the making they all think he's sad but he's not the picture he's painting is so entertaining spinning circles going round and round with his magic machine he smooths everything out in a world where only dreams are allowed that's where he'll be if you ever need a Zamboni man. While he turns and he twists, go on, make a wish, and he'll do what he can. A little hocus and pocus, alakazam, if you ever need a helping hand, just ask the Zamboni introduce myself. Scooch is the name, and in addition to all my other skills, talents, and chores, well, I'm the Zamboni Man. This little doohickey right here is a Zamboni machine, and with it, I keep the ice nice. Been doing it since the ice age, well, almost. <laughs> I guess the only one that really knows what I do around here is my old pal Snowden. He doesn't talk much. Better put your hat on, Snowden. You're going to catch your death of heat. This is a great little town. Always was, even before Albert got here. Well, you know Albert, the world champion skater. The one who used to do that funny routine at the ice shows. That's the one. Baron Albert. Jacket with all the buttons. Right. Well, he built that house over there, and they named this pond after him. We were pals. I used to clean the ice for him, and after he was done practicing, we well, would come by my shack for a little rum toddy. <laughs> Just to take the chill off, mind you. Oh, he'd get real happy then, and he'd talk about his granddaughter, Kate, and how much he loved it when she'd come visiting around winter vacation. Uh, it wasn't the rum talking, though, because... Truth to tell, I never did put any rum in those drinks. It was all toddy. <laughs> but Albert never knew. Uh, he taught her how to skate, and even then, you could tell that she had the gift. If it wasn't what happened in that first festival, she could have been a world champion, too. And that's just ice under the bridge now. Still, every year around festival time, I, I think about that. What could have been if what happened hadn't happened. Anyway, as you can see, we're getting ready for another winter festival. It's kind of like the 4th of July, but with icicles. <laughs> this town is built around skating. Festival is the highlight of the year. Final night is the best, where everybody competes for the coveted Albert Trophy. I never compete in the competition myself. It wouldn't be fair to the others, don't you know? Like all the isoholics in this town, I sure get into the spirit of the thing. Even the mayor and his wife, well, they lace them up and they cut quite a figure. A cheese in the air this morning, 
The weatherman is giving us a winter warning Time to unpack my heavy coat and my hat He says that snow is on the way Time to get ready for a skater's holiday First we said goodbye to the sun the autumn leaves have fallen, now the snowflakes tumble Call everyone and find a little frozen pond Until the snowman on the way Time to go out and have a skater's holiday Join in the magic that happens only once a year Let's sing in joyful harmony Spreading lots of holidays Come alive this morning Enchanted by the dance of every snowflake falling Uncles and cousins and nephews and aunts Are trying on their brand new skates Everybody in the world Every man, woman, boy and girl Everyone in the world should have a skater's holiday While the skaters are thinking of the festival, a single mother and her young daughter are heading back to town with other things on their mind. Kate, whose wonderful imagination made her a successful author of children's books, must use all her powers to convince her daughter Lizzie that the picture she draws of their new hometown will really come true. There'll be friendly faces everywhere you look. Like that magic page inside your coloring book And we'll begin again And find our strength again In our new hometown And there's a house beside a pond inside a wood And every winter it becomes the neighborhood There'll be a snowman there And skaters everywhere In our new hometown So don't be afraid Little princess When the train Step of the way, I'll be one heartbeat away. Little princess, tomorrow starts right now in a new hometown. Two weary travelers brought by destiny back to the town that held so many happy memories for one of them. It also holds for Kate, another memory that has never been resolved. But on a wintry night, Filled with new hopes and dreams, perhaps magical things can happen. Let's throw a little light on the subject. Oh, can't find the key? No problem. Sooner or later, all roads lead to home. In this case, to Albert's Pond. Oh, it may be 
musty and dusty. After all, it's been several years, but the things that really count are still untouched. Photographs, trophies, the medals. All here to show your daughter, Lizzie, how it was and how it can be for her. And being the good writer that you are, don't leave out the details. She has to know why this place is so special to you. And how, when you uncover the furniture, you also uncover the past. There's a room inside the house that's mine and yours. And I promise you'll feel safe and so secure. We'll have a better life, a little paradise in a new hometown. So don't be afraid, little princess, cause I just Up. And I tell you, even my old dog Ollie knows it's getting close to festival time. It's Kate's first day back, and I wonder what the young writer will write when the sun begins to thaw those frozen memories. There's an old saying that goes, the party's over when you run out of ice. <laughs> You'd never think that'd be a problem around here, but ice is the only thing our skaters can never get enough of. The boys hockey team called the Creatures want to be out there the whole time. Looking good. And Brent, their coach, would like that too. But she and her girls need to practice their special routines. And to put it simply, they have no routine that features creatures. <laughs> Anyone who gets in the middle of that argument would find himself in cold storage. All right, guys, hit the ice. Take it, man. Have a good time.
the only game of life that we'll be playing Just one chance Don't be afraid to reach up high, the world is waiting for Shana, sitting there watching Kate and Grandpa Albert together, working on the number for the routine. Green was never a good color for Shana, but green with envy is what she was. And now, with Kate back in town and a festival coming up soon, it's no wonder Shana didn't make like the welcome wagon and show up at the door with a warm smile and a tuna casserole. She has no idea what Kate's been up to since she left Albert's Pond 20 years ago, but she knows if Kate's been skating at all. She's still going to be a threat. Whatever else she remembers about this town, Kate hasn't forgotten that you're not accepted if you don't skate. And even though she hasn't touched the ice in all these 20 years, she's determined that Lizzie learn to skate and make friends. But Shane and her girls are about to give new meaning to the term cold shoulder. It's too bad Grandpa Albert isn't around to guide little Lizzie the way he used to help young Kate. Though some say his spirit is still here at Albert Pond, it's not like his being here in person. So Lizzie must do the best she can on her own. <laughs> Pushing her little bird out of the nest must remind Kate of that first competition when she was the one getting ready to fly. Even then, Shana and Kate were worthy opponents. Shana worked very hard for the applause and the approval. turn, she knew she had to do something special to outshine her rival. And even though Albert had warned her she wasn't ready to try that difficult jump, well, Kate, with the courage of youth, went all the way. Then in one terrifying moment, the worst thing that could possibly happen At that tender age, one simple fall caused Kate so much humiliation and embarrassment, she vowed never to skate again. Just as Kate had left the ice defeated and demoralized that day long ago, her daughter Lizzie is now going through the same thing. When she says we should have stayed where we were, I hate it here, she means every painful word. This 
is my favorite time when no one is around except for Snowden. <laughs> you know, Albert used to like to come around here late at night and work in his specialty act. It was right here on this very pond that he invented his most famous move, the Scooch. Well, he named it after me because, well, that's my name, Scooch. Well, that and the fact that besides him, I was the only one in the world that could do it. It was kind of like a one-legged axle sow cow flying camel lutz with a triple turnaround twist. Woohoo! Went something like this. Oh, I almost forgot. Albert made me promise never to perform that move when people were watching. Well, you are people, aren't you? Well, it was spectacular. Take my word for it. I feel so sad for Lizzie and Kate. You know, sometimes when things are the saddest, we recall the happier times of our lives and for a moment we'll try to recapture that feeling. For Kate, it was surely the time she spent with Grandpa Albert. Oh, he was something in those days, all dressed up in that jacket with the candy in the pockets and all those brat colored buttons. The one he used to wear when he toured the world as Baron Albert, the star of the ice show. What child wouldn't be thrilled to be with him? For in a way, he had the spirit of a child himself. When work is play, it's no longer work, he would say to little Katie Lou when they were out in the ice together. There was always a reward for doing good work. You'd like to take a ride on a magical broom So would I I can think of nothing better to do Than to sing a little boo 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 doo with you My Katie Lou Would you like to find a genie inside of a lamp Make a wish Wouldn't it be kind of funny if he said Shazam you're a fish All the diamonds and the rubies around Can't compare to even half a pound of you My Katie Lou Would you be kind enough to accompany me A little cafe with a table for two Just beyond our wildest dreams Sing a little boo boo be doo with you, my Katie Lou, with you, my Katie Lou. for the last time he left me his hat and his scarf he said if it didn't look good on me well it surely had a touch of style to a snowman he also knew that his granddaughter Kate would always think of him whenever she thought of Snowden so even though he was physically gone he would still be here in spirit well if there was ever a need for the spirit of Grandpa Albert I, I'd say be right about now isn't that right Snowden? Stone, if you were Kate, what would you do? Your silence speaks volumes. Now, I'm not the one who usually goes by the book, but sometimes a book is a good thing to go by. 
And there's Kate with the book she's been writing sitting right there on the table. And there's nothing children like better when they're feeling down than a good story. And there's a child feeling down that's just waiting for someone to lift her spirits. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea for Kate to take the book, go to her bed, and I don't know, perhaps read her a chapter or two from Snowden and the Bird Who Couldn't Fly. What do you think? Couldn't have said it better myself. your story I've been working on. All the birds were heading south one cold and wintry night. They flew in tight formation on that long and tiring flight. But one small bird, she lost her way and drifted from the flock. And in the dark, she hit a tree and landed like a rock. Afraid to move and Cold and wet, she lay there nearly dead until a snowman came along. And this is what he said. Don't be afraid, my feathered friend. It's not the end for you. If you believe, you will fly again. Then fly is what you will do. I help you in your darkest hour. I help you to begin. But you must find the courage to continue from within. He said, my name is Snowden. I've helped many just like you to do the things they never ever thought that they could do. But in the end, my feathered friend, you'll find like all the rest, you make the magic by yourself when you just do your best.
just as the Zamboni man. While he turns and he twists, go on, make a wish, and he'll do what he can. A little hocus and pocus, alakazam, if you ever need a helping hand. Just as the Zamboni man. Albert Trophy. It's got the names of all the winners inscribed right here going all the way back to the very first competition. Let me see. There's Shayna, 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 Brett, Shayna, Shayna. Brett? How did Brett get on there? Oh, that's right. I remember. That was the year that Shayna had a broken ankle and pneumonia. She finished second that year. Very determined young lady. Anyway, this is the Albert Trophy. And who better to be the keeper of the trophy than the one who's very body embodies the essence of the festivals, festivities, and frigid frivolities. My friend Snowden. I leave it in your capable hands. He'll make sure it's safe until he hands it over to the rightful winner later at the festival. my extreme pleasure to introduce the final skater in the competition. Although she certainly needs no introduction, having been a winner or finalist every year since she was knee-high to a snowman, it's our own Shayna Munson.
Shane, of course, was brilliant, as usual, and it looked as if her name would once again be engraved on the Albert Trophy. But something remarkable was about to happen. As I told the mayor, no, 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 no. You know, in my own quiet way, we have an extra added secret surprise attraction this year, and it was his civic duty to provide the wherewithal wherewith, well, all this could take place. I've just been informed that there's another entrant competing for the Albert Trophy this year. It is the opinion of the judges that since there are no rules about anything, the competitors shall be allowed to compete. If anyone knows any reason why this should not happen, let him speak now or forever hold his rule. No, that's from some other show. Let the competitor compete!
mouse no nobody not a bad day's work huh a young child made welcome in her new hometown and a young woman who made some icy hearts melt with her courage oh i'm sorry you always say never say melt to a snowman <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if everyone had a snow to bring out the best in them well maybe they do and they just don't know it anyway i for one enjoy our cold friendship and that my friend is no snow job in any event i feel pretty safe in saying this has been quite a magical day come and gather around at the table in the spirit of family and friends and we'll all join hands and remember this moment till the season comes round again let's all try to smile for the picture and we'll hold it as long as we can may it carry us through should we ever get lonely till the season comes round again the new year be blessed with good tidings till the next time I see you again if we must say goodbye let the spirit go with you till the season comes round again Lonely heart with song. 
Jones.